So imagine waking up tomorrow late for work or school because you've got to set your alarm clock or just life happened. But as you walk outside the door and you notice that your car is being blocked by your neighbor for the billionth of times. In your anger and frustration, you're glaring at his car when all of a sudden it seems to be crushed under its own weight. It almost seems like a soda can being crushed by your heel. That, my friends, is the power of gravity manipulation. And today, we're going to talk about it. What's up, hello, and welcome. My name is Lou, and I love to talk about superpowers. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a power voted on by you guys, that power being gravity manipulation. Two things of note before we get into the video. This is gonna be a two-part video, mainly because last video, teleportation, which I appreciate all the people who are showing up and watching that video and commenting and liking the video. I really appreciate that. I love it a lot. I just love the energy you guys are giving off. But I am well aware that 22 minutes seems like a tall task for most of our attention span. Maybe for videos like, you know, where we have a lot of information to cover, it's probably best to break it into two videos. Today's video is going to cover the overall power itself and how it works, its limitations, as well as me providing with the overall scores in five different categories and giving you a letter grade. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into gravity manipulation. So before we actually talk about gravity manipulation as a power itself, we got to talk about gravity. So gravity is the mutual attraction of everything, of anything in the universe. It is one of the four fundamental interactions of the universe, those being gravity itself, electromagnetism, strong and weak forces. It's also considered the weakest of the fundamental forces. I know, even though I have weak force, this is apparently the weakest. Gravity manipulators have the ability to manipulate and control anything with mass or energy. That includes planets, galaxies, stars, even light itself. But that's all big picture stuff. You don't have to worry too much about it in this video, but just keep that in mind. Bringing it back down to Earth, gravity manipulators have the ability to increase or decrease gravity, immobilize or absolutely crush anything or anyone. They have control of attractive as well as repulsive forces, and they have the ability to wall walk or float or anything of that nature. On top of the abilities I just listed, a gravity manipulators with control of their own gravitational field have the ability to manipulate or enhance their own physical attributes. On top of increased strength, gravity manipulators can actually increase their speed. They can conserve a considerable amount of energy. They can fly or float as well as affect attack potency or just take attacks in general. So think for instance, if I'm fighting someone like Deontay Wilder, who's known for his just like incredible power. Well, with gravity manipulation, I can completely, well not completely, but almost assuredly nullify his punching power making it almost useless. Just like any power, there are limitations, and let's just go ahead and dive into this known weaknesses of gravity manipulators. First things first, anybody with gravity immunity or gravity negation is a natural counter to you, meaning that anybody that can nullify your power or is completely immune to it, you have no effect, you're basically just fighting a human. The next limitation we have to mention is distance, precision, and mass are all dependent on your skill and knowledge base, meaning that if you are an absolute scrub, an absolute newbie with this power, you can't do something as crazy as flatten an entire city or make a bus float or, you know, attract a bagel to you. Yeah, attract a bagel to you from the bagel shop down the street. You can't do that kind of stuff because you don't have the precision or skill just yet. The next limitation we got to discuss is gravity manipulators may be susceptible. The next limitation I have to mention is that gravity manipulators may be susceptible to their own power, meaning that just because you have the power doesn't mean you're immune from its effects. So think of it, if you have a five meter radius around you where your power has effect, everything within that radius, including yourself, is affected by your powers. So don't think, oh, I can make everybody else 10 Gs heavier because if you're in that circle, you're getting heavier too, just so you know. The last limitation I want to get into in this video is the fact that gravity manipulation being the weakest of the four forces means it's actually at a type disadvantage for the everything else. So think if anybody with electromagnetism faces off against you, you're at a type of disadvantage. Think of like, I'm a fire uh, Pokemon. Let's say I'm a firefighter or whatever. Let's say you're a water psychic or whatever like that. You have the definite advantage in that aspect. So I have no, no leg to stand on. Okay, so next up I wanna dive into my scores and what I feel about this power. So in every one of my videos, I break it down into five categories being versatility, creativity, destructive capacity, combat potential, and daily use. I give them all a score out of 10, and then I give it a letter grade so you know where it fits in my hierarchy. So kicking things off with versatility, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. I gave it an eight out of 10. 
mostly because I feel like there's a lot of usage, especially to the fact that you can manipulate gravity, which is literally everywhere on the planet. So I feel like there's a lot you can do. I don't feel like I can think of anything like crazier than normal, like off the top of my dome. So I think eight is a good solid number for this. So yeah, this power gets eight out of 10 for versatility. Next category we're gonna talk about is creativity. I feel that this power will be super creative, especially in regards to, you know, sports. There wouldn't be any sport you couldn't play that you wouldn't just absolutely dominate, especially in regards to just manipulating the gravity of others as well as yourself. Dude, like you just be a monster. That's just the sports aspect. You can think about logistics, you can think about just everyday usage at any job you may have, or just, just being lazy. Just think about the fact that you can attract things to you at an instant or repel things away. Dude, so it's getting a nine out of 10 for creativity, at least in my opinion. The next category we have to bring up is destructive capacity. And to be honest, like, do I have to mention how destructive you would be with the ability to manipulate gravity itself? Like, seriously, <laughs> come on. It's gonna get a 10, 10 out of 10 all day, every day. You manipulate gravity. Who's fighting you? Who's stopping you? Yeah, I thought so. No one's stopping you. you you're not getting touched. Next category is gonna be combat potential. And I'm gonna spell it out. You can move faster, you're stronger, you can endure more, you can serve more energy, you can repel or attract anything to or away from you. I mean, who's stopping you? Besides other manipulators, of course, or psychic users, or whatever. But honestly, in, in everyday life, who's stopping you? What situation could you just instantly get yourself out of? If you had the ability to manipulate gravity itself, you would just run them up. You'd be an absolute menace, especially in combat situations, combat sports or just a regular street fight, you'd be unstoppable. Just dumb, just stupid how unstoppable you'd be. So once again, it's gonna get another 10 out of 10 for combat potential. Last category up is gonna be daily use. This is based purely on how often I would use this power if I was given this power tomorrow. Like let's say I wake up after getting struck by lightning or whatever, the power is now mine. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I like to be lazy and I like to not do too much like at all. So yeah, it's gonna get a 10 out of 10 for me, especially, dude, if, just think for a second. If you could just float, like not fly, not not like, you know, do anything crazy like that, but just say like float. Who wouldn't just be floating? Like I would be doing that Mark Grayson from Invincible thing where I was like, oh, I got my powers to work and I'm just floating on. I would never walk again if I had the option to. Or I would never get up from my couch if I could just snatch things out of the kitchen that I needed. That brings our score to a 47 out of 50, which is an A plus. To me personally, it's one of the more top tier abilities. I'd say it's in the ballpark of maybe top 10, at least that's how I feel about it. So it getting the A plus doesn't really surprise me. But if you feel differently, let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so very much for watching this video to the very end. On screen now will be part two, as well as my teleportation video if you wanna see more. I do greatly appreciate your time and staying around for the very end. It means the world to me. And if you could, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love you forever and more. Until next time, peace.